Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to our Halloween edition of The Supernatural Files. Join me as I dive deep into the airy world of the Vitala mythology and see if I can find the most mind-blowing stories that you've never heard of before. In this video, we'll explore the mystery of the Vitala, a fascinating figure from Indian mythology that intertwines horror with deep cultural significance. Many people are unaware of the Vitala's role in folklore, often overshadowed by more popular mythological figures. The Vitala's significance lies in its ability to bridge the gap between the living and the dead, making it a compelling figure worth exploring. Despite its importance, the Vitala remains a relatively unknown entity, even among enthusiasts of mythology. This lack of awareness is partially due to the Vitala's ambiguous nature, which can make it difficult to pinned down. The Vitala's role in folklore is multifaceted and its stories often blur the lines between good and evil. By examining the Vitala's mythology, we can gain a deeper understanding of the cultural and historical context in which it emerged. In Hindu folklore, the Vitala is an evil spirit who haunts cemeteries and takes demonic possession of corpse. They make their displeasure known by troubling humans. They can drive people mad, kill children, and cause miscarriage but also guard villages. They are hostile spirits of the dead trapped in the twilight zone between life and afterlife. These creatures can be repelled by the chanting of mantras. One can free them from their ghostly existence by performing their funerary rites. Being unaffected by the laws of space and time, they have an uncanny knowledge about the past, present, and future, and a deep insight into human nature. Therefore, many sorcerers seek to capture them and turn Turn them into slaves. There is also a strong Vital cult in the Konkan region under the names of Batal, Vital, Vedaba, Vedoba. Since Batal is said to be the husband of the goddess Shanta Durga, there will be a temple dedicated in honor of Batal either within the temple complex of Shanta Durga or somewhere in the Sylvan surroundings. There is a Batal temple in Omana Goa. Batal is a form of Bavaria and is the head of all spirits and ghouls and vampires and all kinds of pishas. Vital is the worshipper or savak of Kala Bhairava and is the head of all spirits and ghouls and vampires and all kinds of pishas. He has another form which is more potent fiery, that of Agni Vital, who is the savak of Nun Kalika. Lord Agni Vital has flames on his head and controls fire. He is also known as Agni Vital. So according to sacred Hindu text, the person can get rid of evil spirits by chanting a mantra, Durgamba, Durgamba, Durga, Durge, Durgamba, Am, Namah, Shivaya, together as one, which means, mother and father of the universe, please rescue me with good mind concentration. Let's get into a story about the Vitals. A sorcerer once asked King Vikra Medea to capture a Vital who lived in a tree that stood in the middle of a cremation ground. The only way to do this was by keeping silent. Every time Vikra Medea caught the Vital, the Vital would enchant the king with a story that ended with the question. No matter how hard he tried, Vikra Medea could not resist answering the question. This would enable the Vitala to escape and return to his tree. The stories of the Vitala have been compiled in the book Beta Pashi. The Vitala's story often serves as a moral lesson, warning humans of the dangers of pride and ignorance. In the tale of Vikramidia, the Vitala's cunning nature is matched only by the king's wisdom and humility. The story highlights the importance of respecting the natural order of life and death and the dangers of tampering with forces beyond human control. The Vitala's moral lessons are as relevant today as they were centuries ago, serving as a reminder of the importance of humility and wisdom. Let's get into the Vitala's special abilities. Inhabiting corpses, shape-shifting, flight, supernatural knowledge, communication with spirits, and mystical influence. 
The story of the Fekumidea and the Fatala has been retold and adapted countless times, each version offering a unique perspective on the encounter between the brave king and the cunning spirit. The tale has inspired numerous works of art from ancient carvings to modern day field and continues to captivate audiences to this day. The Fatala's influence can be seen in various aspects of Indian culture, from literature to art to even modern day pop culture. In conclusion, the Fatala myth is a fascinating tale that offers a unique perspective on the interplay between life and death. Its story serves as moral lessons, warning humans of the dangers of meddling with forces beyond their control. The Fatala's significance lies in its ability to bridge the gap between living and the dead, making it a compelling figure worth exploring. If you found this mythology intriguing, don't forget to leave your thoughts in the comments and check out our other videos on fascinating folklore.